Hey everyone, Percy here. Today I'd like to talk about Step Record in Studio One. So what is Step Record, how does it work, and why would you use it? Now, first of all, step record applies to MIDI instruments, so MIDI information. And as opposed to, let's say, the conventional way of recording music, where you just kind of play along with the song, you play along with the tempo of the song in real time, and timing is of the essence, obviously, step record is a way for you to record a sequence of notes without having to worry about the actual tempo of the song. You can just play the notes one by one, at your own pace, so to speak, and they will automatically be placed into a sequence based on some predetermined uh, rhythmic values. Now, as always, best way to explain would be by example, so let me just show you how it works. Now, as you can see, I have one track here with an instance of presence on it. Now, let me just create a part and let me double click that part to open the editor. Now, first thing to do is to reveal the step record toolbar by clicking this button right here. Okay, now let's go over the functions real quickly. Um, this button right here kind of speaks for itself. It's enabled by default, but with this button you can toggle between enabling and disabling step record mode. Okay, now this is a symbol for a whole note a half note, a quarter note, all the way down to a 64th note. And with this you can set the step length. Follow cue is enabled, which means that whatever you set the quantize value to, the step length will follow that value. So let's, for instance, set the quantize value to 1 16th. And now you can see the step length has also been set to 1 16th. Now these buttons offer a little bit more options to setting the note length. So triplet means that where normally two notes would go, now three notes go. Quantal means that five notes now go where normally four notes would go. Uh, septal means that seven notes go where normally eight notes would go. And dotted means that the note length is increased by 50%. I suggest you experiment with these buttons to see what they actually do. Now with back you can basically undo the last step and with rest you can insert an empty space within the sequence. Now let's actually record something so you can see how it all works. Okay, now all of the notes I just played have been recorded and as I mentioned they've been grouped into one sequence as you can also see. Now let's listen and hear what it sounds like in real time. Now as you can hear, Studio One has taken care of the timing for us and it's also all been quantized, so it's very tight. If you think it's too tight, you could always humanize it or edit it some other way afterwards. Uh, by the way, you can also play chords and you can overdub, so you can go back to anywhere on the timeline and start playing again, maybe to add some harmonies. Um, and basically that is how Step Record works in Studio One. Okay, so why would you use Step Record? Well, one of the most obvious reasons is if there is something you would like to record which might be a bit complicated and maybe your keyboard skills just don't allow you to play a particular piece in real time or you just don't have the time to practice a particular piece but you still would like to record it quickly, then Step Record could be very useful. Another reason. With different techniques and different methods usually also come different kinds of inspiration. And especially if you run into a period, which we all do sometimes, where it seems like you don't have any inspiration at all. One good way of getting out of a situation like that is by simply trying something else, trying something different. Well, step record is just a different way of recording, a different way of creating music. 
just might be the thing that you need. And just apart from all of that, step record can just be a lot of fun. So I would say go have some fun with this and just take advantage of this functionality within Studio One. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.